Hello, today we have a 2010 BMW X5 with a check engine light and the code that's stored on this car is a 4BCC reducing agent passive level. So what does that mean? Here is the passive tank. It's already removed from the car and you've got a couple sensors up here. You have a sensor up here. Uh, the level sensor is actually down here and what we found is that this level sensor has failed. You look inside there and uh, the urea that was in this tank has leaked through the sensor and it uh, damaged the, the wiring harness and everything. So what we're doing is we're replacing the, active, the passive level sensor. You have to replace the entire tank because you cannot remove the level sensor. It's plastic welded in. Um, you can see here, there is, there's no bolts or screws or anything that holds that guy on. It's just permanently fixed into the tank which is kind of a bummer because all we really need is just a new level sensor there and then the car would be fixed. Instead, we have to put a whole new tank in it. So this is all the stuff that we had to remove uh, from the car to access the tank, the exhaust system, some heat shields, some plastic uh, under paneling shields. Uh, and then underneath here, um, this is where the passive tank mounts. in this area right here to the left of the drive shaft. And you can see over here, uh, here's our exhaust system. And this is the urea mixer. So see, it looks like a turbine, right? But it's, it doesn't move, it's just, it's a stationary component. And that just mixes that urea in. And look how clean the inside of that exhaust system is. I mean, that, that is just super clean. Just a couple things to note here. Um, you have a, a, an exhaust temperature sensor right here. You have a NOx and NOx sensor right here. And you also have a urea injector right here. So this injector injects the urea right before, or, you know, right into here. And when it injects it right into here, that's what reduces the NOx uh, from the car. And the car checks that. It's got a pre and a post NOx sensor to check that. Um, the active tank, there's two urea tanks on this car. The active tank, which is covered for 10 years or 120,000 miles, has already been replaced on this car under warranty at 62,000 miles. And it's located in the right front of the car. The passive tank, uh, here's, if we walk around to the front here, here's the brand new passive tank that's going into the car. Uh, that is not covered yet. I say yet uh, because maybe it will be covered one day. Uh, this will be documentation for BMW North America that this car had a brand new customer paid for tank that maybe she could get reimbursed for at a later date. So we're gonna replace that tank. It also has a thermostat code. We're gonna put a new thermostat in it. We're then going to run a regeneration. That's when they know that the urea injection works. So the car is gonna go through a regen. Uh, we're gonna have, we're gonna perform the regen here. Okay, so let's go through a regen on this X5 right now. Uh, so what we're gonna do in ISTA, we're gonna do a vehicle readout. We're control tree on the DDE. Uh, go to vehicle management, service function, go to powertrain management, the screen on the right side, with the ABL, you're gonna go into a DPF request regen. This is gonna take you into the regen process. From there, we're gonna go drive the car. So the engine has to get to 75C. The exhaust temp has to get to at least 240C. The fuel level has to be above 10 liters, so the reserve light should not be on. Switch on all electrical consumers to make sure we get this engine and catalyst exhaust system as hot as we can. You must be above 38 miles an hour, 55 miles an hour is ideal. You're gonna put about 45 miles on the car. You're gonna recheck your work and make sure that you actually performed a regen. You're gonna go back to the DDE, go to call up functions, diagnostic scan, go to the micro filter, um, go to the status of the last regen and it should give you a mileage since the last regen. You wanna make sure that the mileage since the last regen is less than the test drive that you just did. The car automatically regens every 600 miles. 
If you just did 40 miles, you want the status of the last region to be 15 or 20 miles ago. If it's 300 miles ago, you did not successfully regen the car. Uh, so, you know, you didn't meet criteria or whatever. Go do it again, do whatever we have to. We don't want the customer to come back, tell us that we didn't fix the car right, all that stuff, right? So that's what, that's the reason why we're going through a full drive cycle, make sure we're not setting any 480A or 481A codes. When this car's done, it's gonna be done. We're gonna give it back to the customer.